All right, so we've got the coolest chops all ever. We're getting rid of this old Harbor Freight junk and we're going with uh, high quality chop saw. I'm super excited about it. I've seen these chop saws everywhere and I've wanted one for a while. I reached out to the company and they decided to work with it. So that's awesome. So another one for the wall. Hopefully they will be getting uh, some banners and then I'll be able to put a banner up. But yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, get these unboxed. I'm going to unbox the, I have a stand and the chop saw. So we're going to do the stand first and then we can put the chop saw together on top of the stand. So let's do that. So, it's together. Uh, all you need is some Allen heads, uh, 3 16 is what I was using, Phillip, 10 millimeter, and that's everything you need to put this thing together. The legs are super dope. They just got this thing, so you just pull that in, and then they'll fold. And obviously, these things on your legs to extend them. This is the full height, um, but uh, yeah, pretty dope. You just put this in with your washers underneath here, those, and then one on this one, one on that one. You have these little things that you push on, so that way you can spin this to tighten it down onto the chop saw. You have these, um, okay, so there's underneath, you have one here, you have one there, the one underneath there adjusts this so you can pull it out. I believe this stuff is to support the material you're cutting. Um, I'm not too sure what this is i'm no professional so and i'm just figuring this out as i go so yeah i believe this just butts up against the chop saw not too sure again no professional then you also have height adjustment here you just loosen this one you can push it down or up to make it level with the bed of the chop saw so now we're on to the fun part let's bust out this beautiful chop saw and get that thing set up on its own so let's do that So up on the front here, they actually store the Allen key. Up on the back side, on the other side, there is a very obvious button. Push to lock the blade button. the magic blade make sure that is going in Basically the same way you took it off. Alright. Press your button to lock the blade. Give them a snug. Put your Allen key back so you don't lose it. JK. Don't put your thing back yet. Cover your blade. No, don't get too crazy. All right. Okay. There's a lockdown on that side. Let's fire this bit boy up. All right. So, in case you didn't notice, it has this attachment here, so you can do, if you want to do, like, a flat piece, or if you want to do some round, you just slide this thing around there, 
laying this thing down. Not sure why I brought it out so much. All right. So you got that thing tightened up in there. All right. Now, the magic. These things make significantly less sparks. I will show you that because I'm going to cut with the other one too. So. That is so beautiful. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at that. Don't mind the shitty camera work. That is an already clean piece of material. Holy crap, I cannot explain how happy I am. And holy shit, was it crazy how... Plus on top of that, look at that. I can immediately touch it. Like, I can literally put my finger on there. I'll tell you right now, I'm not doing that with that other one. All right? So, one more time, just because that was really satisfying. We'll get up and close and personal too this time. All right. That's so cool. All right, so got a Harbor Freight special. Um, I do have a nice blade on there. It's from our buddies, Benchmark Abrasives. But, uh, yeah, these uh, other blades, I mean, not to be a dick, but the evolution is sick compared to this. I mean, it's an abrasive. We're talking about a blade to a freaking abrasive, okay? They're completely different things. So, but this is what most of them are. So, let's zoom in here and get that really unappeasing look because these never cut purdy so <laughs> You cannot see the steam coming off of it. So yeah, uh, if that doesn't tell you to buy one of these, um, I do know that they just have the blades, so you can just get those. So yeah, Harbor Freight one, it works. It's been working for a long time, but this trap saw is butter compared to that. Now the blade is the really important part here. If you want a blade, if you just if you do already got a Chicago one. This is a 14 inch blade, so this should already work with a Harbor Freight one. So you could just buy this blade and put that on. But I would suggest just to get at least the chops on this. You don't really need the stand. Unless you want the stand, then get a stand. But uh, yeah, this thing is sick. I know I am may seem like I'm just kissing ass here, but I make a lot of shit, okay? I built a lot of crap, all right? And I've used that other chop saw forever. It works. It gets stuff done. I've created most of this, most of my exhaust stuff I've done with the chop saw. I'm super excited to just be able to cut it, and then you don't have to worry about deburring things, stuff like that. Like, all this tubing and stuff, that would have been so nice to have, you know? So, end of the day, it's worth it to me. So, but for sure. Give them a check out. Um, you're going to want one because they are awesome. I can't believe how fast that cuts. Like that is, I am so mind blown right now is how fast that cuts. Because I have like, how? How does that work? And this is their multi-blade. Um, so you can cut aluminum, wood, PVC, that kind of crap. So, yeah. Whereas like this, I mean, I think they're, I believe this one is multi but even then this cuts so much fast i don't have to put any like any sort of force on this and it just zips right through it and then this one you have to put some force on it and it obviously takes time and then your end is like that 
I had that really nice cutoff piece somewhere. So, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, look at that. Minus that, but that's just because it's cutting so damn fast. I had the other one. That one turned out perfect. But, uh, yeah. I guess uh don't really need to do anything else other than, uh, yeah, this is definitely worth the money for sure. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, no, that's another one. Man, I cut a bunch off. So, yeah, you might end up with that. And even then, it just literally, like, I used the dikes, and it will just come right off. So, and that is nothing compared to this. All right, at least this one, all you have to do is clean out an outer edge. Oh, no. So, and it could just be because I'm cutting slivers, too. So, if you had a longer piece that you could hold on to the other side, you could obviously cut all that off. So, but, yeah. Sick. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. I'll have a link in the description for these. Um, so, yeah. Check them out.